Hey, everyone. Uh, my name is John David. I am the Chief Product Officer of Achille Interactive. I am also all that stands between this group and lunch. <laughs> so uh, I have 15 minutes. I think there's a clock somewhere, but I will move extremely quickly through this. I hope to be entertaining, and I hope to keep you engaged, and I will get you to your food very, very quickly. Um, all right, so let me see if I can move some slides. Yes. All right, so Achille. Uh, Achille is a digital medicine company focused on uh, improving our patients' cognitive strength through engaging entertainment experiences. Um, prior to joining Achille earlier this year, I was in what you would call consumer entertainment-based video gaming for 22 years. So I thought I was going to show up and be like, I'm the only games person in the room. Nicole totally trumped me. Uh, but I've worked on all kinds of cool uh, gaming platforms like the Xbox, uh, really exciting games like Plants vs. Zombies, Bejeweled, Peggle, all kinds of stuff that hopefully some of those resonate with some people in this room. I thought I had the greatest career on the planet. I've loved every minute of my career. I mean, I literally worked on a game where cartoon plants take out cartoon zombies that are very funny. And hundreds of millions of people have smiled, laughed, and, you know, we've brought joy. And it doesn't get any better than that. Then you meet the people, the folks at Achille, who are now my teammates, who I enjoy working with every single day. And you realize, wait a minute, you can bring joy. You can drive engagement. That engagement can actually make people's lives better through underlying technologies that improve cognition. So awesome stuff, really powerful stuff. Love doing it every day. And I'm really glad I am because the next thing I was about to say is probably a waste for this room, but it's all about the mental health crisis, everything going on, how hard it is for so many people, including our kids. That's a big one, very near and dear to my heart. Um, and so it was just kind of a perfect time for me to jump in. And it's a perfect time for Achille because we do. The last panel was talking about it. Achille, we are all about bringing together um, doctors, cognitive scientists, game creators, engineers, and creating this whole new type of medicine that feels like entertainment. And it's, it's a really exciting and, and fun time. Now, before I hit the game. The thing that I need to stress, oh, and by the way, the whole point is I'm going to do like a four minute video walkthrough of the game itself. That's what we're about to hit. But before I do that, it's just really important when we talk about Achille, Achille is rooted in cognitive science first. Um, the, the games, that's, that's our way of bringing engagement around these digital treatments. Um, the roots of Achille go back about 10 years. Uh, the, the technology that powers Endeavor RX, the game I'm about to talk about, was actually being researched by Dr. Adam Ghazali at UCSF. Um, and it, what Dr. Ghazali was exploring, all right, we got fans, yes. Uh, what Dr. Ghazali was exploring was kind of this, this concept of if you challenge the brain to do um, multiple things simultaneously and you deliver that challenge with a closed loop system that actually personalizes the level of difficulty to the particular patient, you're actually able to uh, target and activate parts of the brain uh, that are responsible for certain certain types of cognition. So uh, through that study, researched it on an adult population, and the findings uh, were labeled, as you can see here, as a game changer in nature uh, for, for the potential that they had. About that time, Achille licenses that technology. You're going to hear me refer to it as SSME, that's this tech, uh, and spends the next two, 10 years focused in two areas. One, evolving it to be uh, more of a video game type experience that's engaging as opposed to kind of uh, digital exercise that was studied. But two, and more important, uh, to validate it the same way you would a drug or a medical device uh, through rigorous clinical studies. So Achille, during, since that time, uh, we've run over 20 clinical studies with thousands of um, patients across ASD, autism, ADHD, depression, uh, and, and seeing the noodle, needle move at different levels across those populations, but about three years ago realized, hey, there's an exploding need within the pediatric ADHD space. Um, and also, we have a lot of parents who are looking for different treatment options, non-drug-based treatment options. Um, and that, that need space was right there for us to say, let's dive in first on pediatric ADHD with a product focused on helping kids um, with attention deficits better focus. So that is how Endeavor was born. One more. I need to advance one. I've lost control. Yes. All right. So um, when I talk about personalized algorithms, you'll hear me talk about the closed loop system in a second. In a nutshell, it's it's we've been talking a lot about it today. Um, 
this is not a normal video game. While you are playing this game, we are measuring all kinds of things about the patient um, and how they are engaging with the game. Uh, anything from their accuracy, their response times, response time variability, endurance, all kinds of stuff. And through that, we're actually crafting and shaping the game. Anything from what the level layouts are, what the obstacles are, how fast the targets are moving, how many targets are coming, all of it. And we're using that to put the patient at a particular threshold of difficulty where in the research we've seen the most improvement. So that's the closed loop element. Now, the thing to say when you go down that road, sorry, I need one more. I've lost. There it is. Uh, when you go down that, that type of road is that this game is really hard. Um, and like I said, I've worked on all kinds of games that are focused on just entertainment and driving long-term engagement, things like that. This game is all about driving positive change and, and improving cognition. And to do that, we need um, the kids that are playing to actually engage with it at a very difficult level for 25 minutes a day during their treatment cycles. Um, and it feels like work. Your brain, it's getting worked. And so to do that, that's where the game magic comes in. That's where it's all about the fun creatures, the fun characters, the creative obstacles, the different worlds. As you progress through these worlds, we open up new challenges. So it's as you play the first world and you're doing all that work and you're getting better, as soon as you get there, there's a whole new set of challenges coming that is going to kind of reset you to a whole kind of new baseline of difficulty you've got to tackle. So the Achilles Studio is not just game makers, but they're game makers for the purpose of really being true to in delivering the science. I think I learned a trick. I got it. All right, so now we're gonna take a look at Endeavor. Awesome. All right, so we're gonna do a quick walkthrough of Endeavor RX. This is our uh, pediatric ADHD product, uh, FDA cleared, and currently being prescribed by doctors in all 50 states. Um, Endeavor, we have no volume, that's a bummer, is a, is a racing game, it's a space racing game where patients uh, collect power-ups, dodge obstacles, use boosts, all in pursuit of catching these mystical creatures, one of which you'll see right here, that live all throughout the world of Endeavor. So you can see, looks like kind of a classic action mobile game you find in the app store, but like I've been saying, there's a lot more going on under the hood. So first we'll start with the tutorial. And this is where we're gonna teach the patient the, the controls and goals of the game. And the first uh, mechanic that we teach is navigation. So you'll see that the patient is asked to tilt the, their device side to side, so it's very important. That's a motor challenge, it's not, not just a swipe, but you're actually tilting. And head down the courses using kind of an unpredictable motor challenge that is constant throughout the game. So in a second, you'll see the mechanic get introduced. And then we'll just go down the track and I think starting out, we're gonna dodge obstacles, then we're gonna hit power zones. So again, this is just the tutorial, very basic, just teaching, teaching the child how to play. The next mechanic that shows up is targeting. So with targeting, uh, the patient has to make uh, sort of a, an interrupted go-no-go -go call. Uh, we're gonna lob a whole bunch of different targets at them of different colors and shapes. Yeah. And they're asked to only tap and block one particular combination of shape and color, and then hold off on tapping anything else. All right, so we've done navigation and targeting. And in isolation, those mechanics are fun and interesting, um, but it's when you ask the player to tackle them simultaneously, things get much harder. So for the neurotypical mind that doesn't have attention challenges, this is already really, really hard. Uh, for those with attention challenges, it's extremely hard. And so with Endeavor, what we're doing is we're measuring the difference between the patient's ability to tackle these challenges in isolation versus simultaneously, and then working to train them to close that gap. All right, out of the tutorial, into the first regular level. Um, this is the first level of any world, and what the patient doesn't know that we're doing is the first level is an assessment. So at this point, we're building a cognitive fingerprint of how they are responding to all the different challenges that are coming at them at once. We are also measuring that difference between simultaneous and independent play, uh, and we call that the cost. Uh, and then we're also starting to get a feel for, hey, this is who this patient is. This is how we're gonna build out the rest of this world specific to how they are behaving. All right, so now we're in training. And this is where the patient spends the vast majority of their time. 
And this is where that closed loop algorithm comes into play. So you're going to see things speed up wildly, obstacles spaced out, power zones spaced out. This person is like crushing it right now. Uh, and then it will also start to slow down as mistakes are made. But the whole goal of that training loop is to put the patient at that difficulty threshold. We need the mat for 25 minutes. We kind of, the metaphor we use is it's almost like a personal trainer for the brain, really specific to this particular player and patient. Okay, so then along with all the mechanics I've been talking about, also wanted to, to call out some of the items that we use to drive engagement that are more metagame, game focused. These aren't treatment items. These are the types of items we use to keep kids playing. So in a second, you're gonna see a whole variety of worlds. So we have 12 different worlds, all with their own uh, obstacles, challenges, very unique creatures that the kids progress through. We then have our space farm, because all kids love collecting creatures, not quite Tamagotchi, but we're doing our best. Um, and then we also have costumes, and this is a big one. Every, you know, all, all the kids, and quite honestly adults too, really care about how they show up and are represented in the game. Kids can collect and use these costumes as they steer down our courses and, and run through the world. All right. So we're wrapping up the, the sort of patient experience at a high level for Endeavor. Um, but I also wanted to take a moment and talk about the experience for the parent or the caregiver. Um, this is just a screenshot of our Insight app that's in the app stores right now. Uh, basically, we want to give parents complete visibility into how their child is engaging with the products. How many minutes are they playing and how hard are they trying? And we've actually got machine learning algorithms running that are figuring out how hard they're trying. Because if your kids are telling you they're playing Endeavor, but they've just got it off to the side, moving it side to side while they watch Netflix, that's not going to help them get better. Uh, and we want to give that visibility so, so caregivers can see. But this is really just the beginning, right? We have all kinds of data that we're collecting. And we also have the opportunity to combine our game data uh, with things like behavioral surveys, uh, with things like third-party assessment tools. And we want to give all of that information to the caregiver as well as the doctor. Right. We want to have an engaging and fun experience that helps the kids get better and provides an unbelievable amount of information to the care team that's supporting network to help make the right decision for their child's treatment going forward. So that's really what we're out to do with Endeavor. It's not just a game. It's really a treatment um, experience and service. All right. We're almost there. This is, this is the last thing I wanted to say was that. Uh, six years ago, my daughter was diagnosed with ADHD. So all of this is really, it really hits for me. And my wife and I decided we're not doing stimulants, right? We've done a lot of work on executive coaching. We've helped support her school. She's doing fantastic, by the way. It's awesome. But the thing I know is if this treatment had been in my you know, line of sight at the time, I would have been all over it. But I also know that I've been in tech for a long time. I have the means to, to have access to this type of treatment. And my wife and I have the time to try and support you know, our child through this type of treatment. So at Achille, we are really, really serious about making this type of treatment available to, to all children, uh, regardless of socioeconomic um, level, demographic, et cetera. We have patient assistance programs, assistance programs that we, we have in place to help. We have what we call um, our equitable benefits uh, measurement index is something we've created that holds us accountable to how we develop our products and making sure they can be impactful and meaningful for all types of kids. Um, but my ask, my, my call to action from the group is this is obviously a group of very smart, um, driven folks who, who have the opportunity to change things is please get familiar with these types of treatments. Um, Endeavor is just one. This isn't just about Endeavor, uh, but it is about digital therapeutics, prescription digital therapeutics, Think about this new horizon of unique engagement and data access they provide and, and think of ways to innovate and, and make them part of amazing solutions that we can provide. And then in terms of the policy and insurance side, we need coverage and, and we need a system that really embraces and will help us scale this out. And if we do that, I think we can make some impact for a lot of folks. So thank you. Enjoy lunch. Oh, hey, one more. Myself and Megan right over there, we'll have some iPads at lunch. If you want to play Endeavor, we'll get you set up. All right. Thanks a lot, everyone.